Oh, probably they go back to before he was three years old. He just had to tell him bedtime stories of racing and wanting to go out to the barn and stand out there with it cold and in his diapers and just waiting by the door. Want me to just pull the door up so he could just sit on the motorcycle. Racing a little bit past three, and uh, but we started practicing certain things at about two. That's about where it started back then. And to me it was his work habits. I mean, since a little kid, first one to track, last one to leave, and just couldn't keep him off. I'm talking about on practice tracks, just at home, and the training and the work habits, and it's just world champions is something different about it. Say born in him, but you just got to work at it, and he's worked hard all his life, so. I know when we was young, I would tell him stories about Wayne Rainey, Freddie Spencer, and King Kenny, and I'd always tell the story, and if he didn't win the race, I'd have to tell it all over again. And so, at that age, I mean, he was already starting to talk about world champion himself, not me telling him. He started to think about world champion at an early age, by the time he started school, first grade. People told me the odds was probably 10 million to one, and so we knew it wasn't gonna be easy. But that was always his goal, uh, was to be world champion. My thinking was, was let's conquer America before we go uh, try to conquer the world. Soon as we knew that it looked like you're gonna be the AMA champion, and then he started talking to, about going to the world championship and to MotoGP and then Honda in 2006, he got to achieve his goal, so that was all, it's all good. I see in his interviews, he said my family was there, all three of my sons, when they win races and stuff, if we're there, he's, they always say, and the most important thing, my family was there. I did try to believe there's another life after racing and let's keep it family and he's been really good about that and took good care of us. You can't look back much you could have, should have. I was, in my mind, I was kind of thinking maybe a couple years quicker uh, than he did, but I knew he wasn't happy racing for 15th and be the first in uh, some other class in there. I mean, nobody's ever won World Superbike Championship and the MotoGP World Championship, and then he gets to throw in AMA Superbike Championship, so could be a little while before anybody ever does that, so I've really supported that, because I know how much he wanted to win in MotoGP, you know what I mean? You got to have one of them four rides factory team, and where now he's on a good factory Honda team, and he wants to, win World Superbike Championship, and he knew this year it was gonna be tough. World Superbike Championship, seven, eight, 10 guys, and you don't see that no more in MotoGP. When I first went in, we did a little bit, so I really enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. Probably just being the hard worker, the family guy, family that he is, and also that he don't never forget where he comes from, he comes back, He's still humble, and uh, uh, that means as much as I, it just being a good kid. That means more to me than you just said, hey, world champion. And so that kind of makes me the most proud. His work habits. I've never seen many in my life. I read a few books about some of them guys that were world champions, most of them that had those work habits was world champion. And, he never took no shortcuts, never. To me, he hadn't changed hardly any. Still likes to come to his hometown. He don't want no special treatment. He hadn't changed any. It didn't go to his head, for sure. And he didn't change any with his family. 